Hey, what's going on everybody? Hot Sauce Hoy is coming at you tonight. Uh, a little video I wanted to uh, share a few things with you and some news and got a pretty big review going. But um, first things first, I wanted to show you. A friend of mine made me a shirt. Hot Sauce Hoy bringing the heat. I love it. Thank you. So I want to give a big shout out to her for, for doing that for me. Um, second thing is I know on a few episodes, a couple episodes ago, I don't remember exactly when, but um, I had um, talked about a podcast, um, Hotheads Podcast, and a buddy of mine on Instagram, uh, Hot Pepper Broski, he had um, started to begin a podcast, and he's got three episodes made up. Anyway, we have, uh, I'm, and I was on one of them, I was on episode two actually, but we have decided to do a partnership, kind of join up, and um, do the podcast together. You know, there'll be episodes where he's by himself, or he'll bring on a guest, or I'll be by myself, or I'll bring on a guest, and there'll be some more where, you know, we're together and discussing things. So hopefully we can pump out some more episodes and give you guys twice the heat. So that'll be real cool. So a lot of my reviews are going to be either on the podcast or on Instagram. I'm still going to be coming on to YouTube and talking to all you guys and keeping up with you guys and um, challenge stuff. I want to try to get, start getting into some challenges. I'm going to do all that on my YouTube channel. So um, I want to thank you all for supporting me and coming and watching the videos. And I'm definitely going to keep staying around. I just, I love meeting all these people in the hot sauce community. Everybody has been fantastic. It's been pretty awesome. It's, um, I want to say it's been a real cool hobby, but, you know, it's becoming like a part of my life now. It's um, pretty awesome. I don't think, uh, there's probably not a meal I don't eat hot sauce with now. <laughs> so anyway, there's... Um, I'm going to be uh, doing a review on five sauces for you tonight from a sauce company I was talking to. and um, So I have to have that coming to you in a minute. But if you haven't, go check out um, Hotheads uh, podcast. It'll be on, um, it's on Spotify, it's on Anchor, it's on a handful of podcast sites. It's not on uh, Apple Podcast yet, but it's very close. So if you haven't, go check it out. There's three episodes on there. They're not real long, 15, 20 minutes or so. Go check it out. Like I said, I'm on episode two. And then um, if you want, you know, if you're on Instagram, head on over. Check out Hot Pepper Broski. Um, he does the same thing. He does, you know, real good reviews. He's got, um, you know, he's he's excellent. He's excellent at it. So I think uh, I think our partnership is going to be real good for this. Anyways, you go check him out. It's H-O-T-P-E-P-P-E-R-B-R-O-S-K-I-I. -I, Hot Pepper Broski. Anyway, so my review I got going tonight, it's a company I've been talking with for a little bit. Um, it's called The Way Hot Sauce Company. They sent me some samples. Here, I got five of them to come at you. Put some little bottles here. Pretty, pretty pumped to try these out. Not going to lie. So I got a bunch of these spoons ready to go. That way I don't contaminate each one. <clears throat> Let's see, which one do we want to do first? I haven't tried any of these. All I've done is take the plastic off of the lids. That way I can get to it faster. Anyways, I think I'm going to start with the Grim Reaper sauce. Let's take a look at that. Camera's kind of not wanting to zoom in on it. Anyway, it's Grim Reaper sauce from the Way, the Way Hot Sauce Company. Ingredients is red bell peppers, Carolina Reaper peppers, garlic, and vinegar. I like they kind of keep it uh, short and sweet and to the point. You uh, you kind of know what you're what you're what you're getting. Pop that open. You can hear the seal pop. Ooh. Oh yeah. That smells like it's got some heat. I can smell the reaper. Should be good. You know me. I live by the spoonful. Live by it, you know. <laughs> Got to go full bore. All right, here's number one. Pack some heat. Pack some heat. Got a little bit of the vinegar, vinegar flavor, but a lot of reaper. Very, very pepper forward. Yeah, got 
nice, uh, nice tongue burn going on. If I had to rate it, I'll let it sit for a minute to build and see what it builds to. Ah, it calls me hiccup, hiccups. It's got a got a good burn. Oh, yeah. For um, for your rookie palettes, basic palettes, be a little intense for you. For um, you know, chili head or hot hot head, if you would. Uh, burns probably about uh, four, four to five, four and a half, something like that. Solid flavor, very. That's a lot of it's. You can taste the Reaper. It's very, very pepper forward. So, if you like, um, you like the hot. That's a that's a good one to do, for sure. It's it built on. It's it's still hot, but it's just it's maintaining now. I'd probably say four and a half. Very respectable burn burn there. Calls me the hiccups. Of course, I've been uh, been a little laid off of doing doing spoonfuls for a little bit well, since my last video. So, yeah, that's a good one. <clears throat> Looks like my hiccups are subsiding. Well, let's see what we got next. Habanero in your head. Take a look. I like the little art that they got on there, the little guy. It's, it's kind of neat. All of them have that, like this one. The Reaper one was a little, little Grim Reaper guy. There's a little dude with a habanero on his head. This one here, habanero peppers, red bell peppers, vinegar, garlic. Pop. Ooh. I mean, obviously, it smells like a habanero. I'm trying to I'm trying to place what you would. It almost smells like the like the habanero, which I'm, there, there's another sauce over here. But oh man, it's got a really good aroma to it. Here we go for number two. By the way, my heat after that first one is back down. I'm I'm about a. I'm a one now. Come on, baby. Let's see if I can get it out. This one seems like maybe it's a little thicker. Yeah, this one's a little bit thicker. It's taking a second to get out. Come on. There we have it. There we go. All right. Got a little on the back of the spoon, too. I'm going to go ahead and eat that also. You don't waste hot sauce. Yep, that's very habanero-y. You can... I can actually smell the peppers, like not the habanero, but the, the bell peppers of this one. I can smell it. And the garlic. Because, well, I mean, the reaper takes over the other one, but you can actually smell smell the ingredients in this one here. Here we go. Mmm. That's really good. That's a really good sauce. It's not it's not all that hot because it's habanero. But for um you know for a non chili head, non hot head, it um would be good. Like this would be a this would be a really good kind of all around sauce. It'd be really good on some chicken. Yeah. That's a, it's got a really, really good flavor to it. You can taste you can taste all the ingredients in that. That's good. So heat-wise, one, two, maybe. And it could just be that the, the Reaper sauce is covering it still. But like I said, my, my heat scale went back down to a one. It doesn't it, This didn't make my mouth any hotter. Very good flavor, though. Let's see what else we got. Rockin' Red Sauce. Same little guy. Got a little pepper on his head. 
red jalapeno peppers, red bell peppers, vinegar, and garlic. I love how simple these these kind of are, and but they're so good. Like, I don't know. I can really smell the bell pepper on that one. Oh, this is a little runnier. The last one was was decently thick. This one's pretty pretty runny here. You can see. Probably should have shook it a little bit though. Anyways. Another, and these are these sauces are awesome. This is it almost reminds me. This one almost reminds me. It's because you can taste the bell pepper and the garlic in it really good. What this reminds me of is making kebabs on the grill. You know, doing the uh, doing like the beef and the bell peppers and onions. And all that. this reminds me of that. It tastes it tastes like the bell peppers that you would that you would uh, do on the grill. That's really good. I'm really liking these sauces. I have um, I have half of them. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to order the rest because I I'm gonna have to try them. Really good. <clears throat> Heat on that one two again. Um, I don't really have any more burn going on in my mouth. Just a just the hint from that one that I just did. Very good. Let's see what we got left. We have. Mango Tango. Little guy with a with a habanero and a mango pepper or a mango on there. And it's made with habanero peppers, red bell peppers, mango, vinegar, and garlic. I'll shake it a little bit here. And mix it up a little bit. Okay. Oh that smells smells really sweet. Oh, this one's going to be good. I can already tell just by smelling it. Mm. This one's a little thicker, too. The habanero ones look to be a little bit thicker. There we go. We got her coming out now. Took a little bit to get it out. Oh yeah, you can smell that mango with the peppers. Can you see it? Nice, nice orange color. These smelled really, really good too. Real sweet off the start. Real smooth. It's a really smooth one. Real sweet with the mango. Right out. It's got a little bit of a little bit of afterburn from the habanero there. That's they're knocking them out of the park with these sauces. These are awesome. I'm going to um, I'm going to put their website in the description box. So if you guys want to go check them out, they uh, you can buy full size bottles. They have all of their uh, all their bottles in the sample size. You can get all ten of them for thirty bucks. That's not bad. So yeah, if you want to try them out, you know, buy a couple samples or, you know, buy the whole thing and try them all. I mean, 30 bucks for 10 sauces, that ain't bad at all. Very good. On to the last. And this one we got Island Fever. Let's take a look. A little guy with pineapple. Got yellow scotch bonnet peppers, yellow bell peppers, pineapple, vinegar, and garlic. Oh, this one here actually says hot pepper the hot pepper awards, 13th annual winner. So 
this one won an award. There we go. Popped open. Oh, yeah. Smell tropical flavor or tropical aroma there. I can just imagine. It's got a really, really good consistency. Not too thick, not too thin. Very good consistency. Now let me take a look. Spoonfuls. <laughs> Pineapple right off the start. Getting a little bit of little bit of tingly burn on there, not much. It's a real milder, real mild one. Got a tiny, tiny bit on there. Um, excellent flavor. Excellent, excellent flavor. I see why it won one award. Anyway, all of these sauces have been awesome. I recommend all of them. Um, if you're not a hothead um, and you're worried about, you know, something being a little too warm, I'd probably avoid this one because it, it, it packs some heat. That one's pretty good. That one's got some hot. It's hot. These four, <clears throat> I will recommend every single one of them. And I am definitely going to get the rest because the Way Hot Sauce Company, you guys knocked this out of the park, man. I'll, like I said, I'm going to put their website down in the description box. It's www.com www.getwayhot.com G-E-T-W-A-Y-H-O-T Get Way Hot Anyways Thank you guys Like I said for everything I'm still going to be coming around Still talking to you guys um, Definitely be getting on you know, Live streams and chatting And um, come check me out When I'm doing my uh, challenges and stuff on here And Like I said I got I want a bar and stuff I want to do and you know, I'll just see what I kind of come up with Otherwise, you know, check me out on uh, Instagram. Check out uh, Hot Pepper Broski. Definitely come give our uh, our podcast a listen. Hotheads. <clears throat> Anyways, hope everybody's staying well. Family's all good. I miss everybody that I don't get to see anymore. Hopefully, get to see you here real soon. Anyways, I love y'all. I'll see you around.